Greetings YouTube. Today we're taking a look at the CRKT snap lock and I still find initializations like this that have four letters in them awkward. I always find three more convenient. Here's the snap lock and it is uh, 51, sorry, 5102N. Um, and it came comes with a, a lanyard here if you want to wear it around your neck because it does have a nice little convenient hole right here. And of course, first thing you're gonna notice about this thing, which when you look at it, it is extremely skeletonized and it is very unusual in its shape and design. And you would be correct in that. Um, so this has a cam and this cam is activated when you push in this direction and it spreads these two pieces of metal apart just enough so you can then take this blade and you can flip it this way. So it can't go that way because there's a belt, there's a there's a pocket clip in the way. But you can go this way. Um, it does have a pocket clip. And even though it has screws on both sides, this is not reversible. If you were to put this on this side, it would be curving in this direction. Um, they put them there and there because this is a threaded hole that goes all the way through. So they put nuts on uh, bolts on both sides just to give it uh, uh, keep it from getting dirt and crap in there and give it uh, some aesthetic balance um, and it does give you a little uh, purchase on it when you want to pull it from a pocket because you can just reach in there and grab it by those bolt heads and it comes right on out um, though I think it would be weird to have this on a lanyard because you'd have to really have a lanyard because this does but you have to have a lanyard type that has you can disconnect it because I can't imagine you want to have this thing hanging from a lanyard and be out that that seems dangerous and uh, uh, ill-advised in my book now one of the things about this right off the bat is that the cam has to move because the cam moves that just irritates the crap out of me there's something about a knife that's got a part on it that shakes that I'm almost like, no, 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 no. Knives aren't supposed to have that. That's that's just weird. Now, the first time I opened this, I definitely had to use two hands because it is a it's a very unusual and awkward design. But I played with it long enough that I got to the point where I can open it with one hand. Now, I I don't know if I can do it on camera because again, my my hand is not in the most uh, the best position. But we're gonna give it a shot. So you come in like that, and there you go. And now it is in position. Obviously, you can have no play in this direction because this is one solid piece and it doesn't move in there. You could potentially have pale play to side to side, but you don't. Again, the only play on this at the moment is that. And you can see that it's got a bronze washer. That was kind of a nice touch. You don't get to actually see the bronze washers quite that clear under normal circumstances. And again, this is highly... Uh, stylized highly skeletonized there isn't much blade here let's take a look and see how much this, blade, uh, this baby weighs seventy-one grams that's not a lot of weight that's not heavy at all um now if closing it is a little easier because i'm going to come in here with my thumb i'm going to go and i can push with my thumb to the point where the blade is now now and watch these watch that right there It's very positive. And once in, it's in place, there's no play. The blade blade is nothing. And the reason there's no blade plate, I don't know if I see if I can see this on camera. Can I get it the angle right? There's, yeah, right there. There's a little section in there which is rectangular shape, fitting into a rectangular hole in this arm. So when you're opening it or closing it, You've got a rectangular piece of metal going into a rectangular hole, which is why there is no play in this direction, or in the other, or or when it's closed. So it's very, very really quite secure. So I would feel quite comfortable dumping this into a pocket. Because let's be honest, this is never going to come open in your pocket, <laughs> never. So this would be a very secure knife to keep in your pocket, though it is a little on the big side. If I were going to carry carry it in a pocket, I would take out. The clip entirely 
put the bolts put the bolts back in and it, and and not have a clip at all it would then be open you, you could then open it from either the right hand or left hand uh, can i open it with my left hand not not real safely probably i haven't practiced with it but if it were if it were the clipper in here you could do the same method i just did but from your left hand um, so this could become a universal knife if you would want it, want it to if you wanted to carry it as a pocket knife or technically as a lanyard because if it was on a lanyard you don't need the the pocket clip anyway i mean if you're going to be carrying around your neck I'm definitely not going to worry about that but you could also carry it on um very large or it, it, it's, it, this wouldn't be so much a key fob and just be your a thing that has a key attached to it but you could do that or hang it off a piece of gear if you had a clip on here that had a hook you could hang it off a of off a backpack or something like that or tuck it into a pocket that's got uh, the lanyard on there you could for example keep this in your pocket with a lanyard that goes to your belt i've seen people who actually have like swiss army knives and will have a Swiss Army knife with a lanyard attached to it, so they can't drop it. And you could, they just take it off if they want to if they want to use it, but they can never take it out of their pocket and drop it because they've got a lanyard on it. And you could do a similar thing with this. Um, I bought this purely for its novelty factor. I picked it up uh, for sale at a um, uh, a uh, antique shop. And it was only 17 bucks. It was like 1750 because it was 35 bucks and the guy was selling it for 50% off. So I picked it up for 1750. And that's a pretty good deal for this particular knife. I think it usually runs in the 35 and up range. Um, so I was quite quite happy to get it so inexpensively. And it's in excellent condition. Whoever owned it prior to me kept it uh, in very nice shape. Um, but I purchased again strictly for the fact that it is um, a novelty thing. That is a nice sound though. I'll freely admit that. That's a very chunk that kind of, and again, closing it is easier and safer. Click. I like that. It's very positive. Um, so it's fun to play with when I'm at my computer because it, it does have that very satisfying um, auditory and feedback as you can feel it in your hand when it goes like that. It's kind of cool. Alrighty, so this has been the CRKT Snaplock. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little unusual, or actually a lot unusual, this might be something you could buy.